At that time, it became clear something was not quite right with me. I fell over and had great difficulty getting up again. My mother realized something was wrong and took me to the doctor. I spent weeks in Bart's hospital and had many tests. They never actually told me what was wrong, but I guessed enough to know it was pretty bad, so I didn't want to ask. In fact, the doctor who diagnosed me washed his hands of me, and I never saw him again. He felt that there was nothing that could be done. At first I became depressed. I seemed to be getting worse pretty rapidly. There didn't seem any point working on my PhD, because I didn't know if I would live long enough to finish it. But then the condition developed more slowly, and I began to make progress in my work. After my expectations had been reduced to zero, every new day became a bonus and I began to appreciate everything I did have. While there's life, there is hope. And there was also a young woman called Jane, whom I had met at a party. Getting engaged lifted my spirits. I began to work hard, and I enjoyed it. I decided to write a popular book. While I was writing it, I visited CERN, and I became critically ill with pneumonia, and lost my voice due to a tracheotomy. But I kept putting a lot of effort into the book, because I think it's important for scientists to explain their work, particularly in cosmology. I never expected a brief history of time to do as well as it did. It has been a glorious time to be alive and doing research in theoretical physics. Our picture of the universe has changed a great deal in the last 50 years, and I'm happy if I have made a small contribution. The fact that we humans, who are ourselves mere collections of fundamental particles of nature, have been able to come this close, to an understanding of the laws governing us and our universe is a great triumph. I want to share my excitement and enthusiasm about this quest. So remember to look up at the stars and not down at your feet. Try to make sense of what you see and wonder about what makes the universe exist. Be curious. And however difficult life may seem, there is always something you can do, and succeed at. It matters that you don't just give up. While there's life, there is hope. <laughs>